Hello, my name's Natalie Cosgrove. I am a solicitor and partner at Ashton's Legal, and I'm going to be taking you through a quantum case law update. Now, before you panic and worry and think, oh my goodness, are we going to go through everything? No, just some pertinent cases that I've picked out over the last 12 months or so, up until really a couple of weeks ago. So sorry, I am going to throw a bit of costs in there for you as well. I think we can't move at the moment for getting costs costs update, but it's really important. Uh, just by way of background, I am a specialist medical negligence lawyer. I've been doing this over a decade uh, and I represent claimants. So whilst I'm bringing you the case law from all the perspectives and obviously the judgments, which is most important for us today, I might have a slight claimant uh, lean to it. That's just uh, old habits die hard. So let me take you through what we're going to do today. So we're going to look at where the land lies, really. Uh, some of them, there might not be too much change. Some I can't really tell you that much on. But actually, there's always something that we can glean out of cases, even when they're being stayed, even when we're waiting for the Supreme Court date. There's always something that we can pick up. So we're going to go through secondary victim claims, loss of chance update, which ties into that secondary victim claim and future loss of earnings, all wrapped up in one case. How lucky are we? Just a little touch on accommodation and since Swift and Carpenter, where are we up to? Care, transport and capacity are all wrapped up in one case again. A little touch on my favourite subject. Biggest worry, I think, for most of us, apart from what was happening in costs, was fundamental dishonesty. A lot more cases coming through at the moment and just a perspective from NHS resolution coming in for you today and also costs. So let's look firstly at... Secondary.